we will be doing two types of acne but let let's do the basic of acne vulgaris in acne vulgaris the teenage acne or the acne of hormones people believe that this acne is caused by food but that's not true acne mein ab kya hota hai ek pilus sebaceous zonet hota hai hair follicle and sebaceous gland ka theek hai this unit when get when it get inflamed it causes acne ab sebaceous gland contains sebum sebum has lipid composition lipid acts as fuel for bacteria to multiply so which bacteria does multiply on this growth medium lipid it's called propionio bacterium acnes or qt bacterium acnes is another name is anaerobic bacterium is normally present in in skin flora but when it gets nutrition from lipid it multiplies this will be asked in mcq as you name of the bacteria which is involved in acne another question is how it is inflamed or blocked there there are two causes one is that sebaceous gland respond to androgens male sex hormone testosterone right when you exercise or when you strike puberty or when you have pcos where you have more excess androgens you get this acne because more sebaceous glands are responding responding to it but an interesting thing to notice agar androgen insensitivity hai to men will have no acne other causes that the keratinocytes जो कि लाइन करते हैं हेयर शैफ्ट को वो ब्लॉक कर देते हैं इनको और इस पे ब्लॉक करते हैं तो उस पर बैक्टीरिया की ग्रोथ होती है सो वी हैव मेडिसिन फॉर इधर एंटी एंड्रोजन मेडिसिन है ओ सी पीस एस्ट्रोजन जो है वो दे सकते हैं दूसरा अगर हम कैरेटिन की प्रोडक्शन को स्टॉप करना चाहें इसके लिए हम क्या देते हैं रेटिनोइड्स जब हेयर शैफ्ट कैरेटिनोसाइड्स लाइन ही नहीं करेंगे हेयर शैफ्ट को तो लेस ब्लॉकेज होगी तो उसके लिए हम रेटेनोइड्स देते हैं एक्यूटेन के नेम से आती है अब एक्नी जो है मोस्टली इट्स ऑन फेस नेक अपर चेस्ट एंड बैक क्योंकि यहाँ पे हार्मोन ज्यादा रिस्पॉन्ड कर रहे होते हैं नाउ देर इज थिंग कॉल्ड ओपन कोमिडोज और कोमिडोन्स एंड क्लोज कोमिडोन्स ओपन में क्या होता है ब्लैक हेड्स कहते हैं खुले पड़े होते हैं इनको आप सिंपल स्क्रेप आउट कर लेते हो ब्लैक हेड वाली पिन से और दे आर मास्क क्लोज में क्या होते हैं स्पाइस कवर्ड बाय स्किन होते हैं एंड समटाइम देर इज पस तो पैप्यूज और पेस्ट्यूल्स बन जाते हैं एंड व्हेन यू ट्राई टू बस देम दे कैन लीड टू स्कैरिंग हाइपर प्रेगमेंटेशन नाउ हाउ विल यू ट्रीट देम यू विल ट्रीट देम डिपेंडिंग ऑन दिस सिवेरिटी We have treatment option like benzoyl peroxide. Topical में देते हैं वो क्या करते हैं कॉमिटोलेटिक है अनब्लॉक कर देगा पोर्स को कैरेटिन को ब्रेक करेगा और बैक्टीरिया से डायलेक्शन है उसकी एंटीबायोटिक है अगेन टू डिक्रीज योर कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ स्किन बाय प्रोपिनियो बैक्टीरियम एक्नीस क्लिंडामाइसिन एरेथ्रोमाइसिन और एन रेटिनोइड्स अब हाउ रेटिनोइड्स वर्क रेटिनोइड्स जो है एक्यूटेन देनी है थर्टीन सिस रेटिनोइ एसिड ये न्यूक्लियर सेप्टर के लेवल पे काम करेगा आर ए आर आर एक्स एंड इट विल डिक्रीज कैरेटिन प्रोडक्शन इन फॉलिकल लेस फॉलिकल इक्लूजन होगी बट इट इज ब्लैक बॉक्स वार्निंग ड्रग हाईली टेरेटोजेनिक एंड यू हैव टू पोट द वुमेन ऑन ओ सी पीस एंड आस्क देम नॉट टू गिव बर्थ इवन आफ्टर स्टॉपिंग टू मंथ्स आफ्टर स्टॉपिंग दिस ड्रग दे शुड नॉट गेट प्रेगनेंट what are the side effect dry mouth hair fall hair fall is there because there is nothing lining your hair your hair become weak dry skin depression suicide most important is teratogenic okay the misconception is that acne and diet have no relationship you can eat chocolates fatty food but oral oral contraceptive do stop your or decrease acne general guidelines you have to keep the area clean if you think something is causing uh, 
acne like uh, makeup cream which are blocking your ducts you have to stop them even oils because you just So the thing is, you have to. So the thing is, you have to stop comedogenic makeup and creams. They have this instruction written on them, and you can start with topical erythromycin or clindamycin to suppress acne, acne causing bacteria. But if it is moderate to severe nodular fistula, you have to start with oral medication. Now you have to give systemic antibiotic tetracycline. You have options like tetra, doxycycline, erythrocycline, clindamycin for three to six months before you can see in result. And you can add oral retinoids, but you have to be very careful and give them instructions that they cannot get pregnant. It's extremely teratogenic. And you have to keep the doses low. Okay, the most important thing is that systemic antibiotics to not start until you already get a response to the topical benzoyl, uh, peroxide, or isoretinoid. Uh, iso what the book says is that acetyl carus is chronic inflammation of pilosebaceous unit. It's a disease. Of 12 to 13 years of age, where androgens are more in males. Mein. Hai, and also it can happen in females when they have hirsutism, what else, PCOs. Increase even fur production, more they will eat and grow and more bacteria will form their colonies. Sometimes rupture bhi ho jata hai, it, it contents come to her on the dermis. Now, both androgen and progesterone cause increase in sebum secretion, but estrogen reduce it. The OCPs estrogen based and reduce the sebum production, and also they have anti androgenic effects. Uh, we do not uh, ask for any investigation, but if you suspect any underlying endocrinological disease or virilization, PCO, so then you, will, you can. Um, Ask the patient to undergo hormonal investigation where you can ask for hormonal profile. Ke levels kya kya hai. On mild to moderate, you have to start with topical therapy. One another thing that is written here that when you give isoretinoids, you have to start at low concentration and for shorter duration. Also, azelaic acid can be used for micro. Be election and entocomedogenic action. And if you give OCPs, they will have better effect not only on reducing your sebum production, but also on managing hirsutism, polycystic ovarian syndromes. And in investigation, you can ask if their menses are regular or not. In moderate to severe diseases, you have to start with systemic medication. We have options like retin oral retinoids, oral antibiotics. We can also give glucocorticoids. Now, glucocorticoids are anti-inflammatory and they are given to decrease the risk of flare. Another type of acne is acne rosacea, rose-like red. This is inflammatory condition. And it appears in women aged 35, 30 to 50 years. And it's not associated with hormones. It causes reddening of your face, mainly forehead, nose, cheeks. 
ब्रेड हो जाते हैं सारे के सारे इन दीज एरिया अब सम पीपल से द ट्रिगर इज कॉज बाय एल्कोहल हॉट बीवरेज इमोशनल स्ट्रेस टेम्परेचर एंड यू हैव टू ट्रीट देम बाय यूजिंग ब्रोमोडीन टार्ट्रेट विच इज टॉपिकल ब्रोमोडीन टार्ट्रेट विच इज बेजो कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ सबक्यूटेनियस ब्लड वेसल्स और एजेलिक एसिड now azelic acid had met antimicrobial action also ordinary advertises as that it can also cause brightening to yahan pe sare red red hua hua to redness will go away and again you can give topical ivermectin it decreases both cellular and humoral immunity pathways now we will see a question This is a 19 year old boy presents with black head papules patches on his face if 19 year old boy boy has more androgens so is more likely to be acne vulgaris 19 year old is the age where he is most likely to be hitting puberty at this size of the body involved uska face involved whether then neck back upper back and chest and three systemic options we have we have antibiotics we can say clindamycin erythromycin azithromycin oral retinoid jisko accutane mein aa rahi oral steroids de sakte hain oral ocps de sakte hain if the scenario said a 30 year old woman comes after emotional stress with red cheeks it would have been acne rosacea and the treatment line would have been changed or uh, nose cheek chin pe hota and the treatment would have been bromodine tartrate topical or azelic acid topical ivermectin